Hello and welcome to this week's CCA Roundup. It's been a really positive week at CCA. So much going on in terms of sport, in terms of enrichment, in terms of lessons. And I started the week at the Tendering Youth Awards and it was brilliant to be able to attend these awards. We were nominated for an Outstanding Achievement Award and that was for the amazing work of our peer mentors and our Diana Ambassador team that's led by students as well as Miss Hilton. And I took along Ashton and Alexia as two fantastic ambassadors to go on stage collect their awards and it really was a fantastic evening and it's brilliant to see all the amazing things that young people in Tendering are doing day in day out and that includes the fantastic students at CCA. We then had a really successful year seven settling in evening that took place last night we had a brilliant turnout it was lovely to see the parents carers and the students talking to their tutors and finding out how they'd settled in and how they're doing so well at the start of their year seven journey at Clacton Coastal Academy. So well done to you. We also last night had our year 11 revision evening, which was run by Positively You. Absolutely brilliant session. Thank you to the parents that turned up to that session after school. For those people that didn't attend, that will, there will be another session later on in the year. Then we had our really successful sixth form open evening. Really good event. Brilliant to see students from different schools coming into CCA to look at the facilities, look at what we offer for sixth form, as well as our amazing year 11 students who have to make their decision by the end of December, ready for next year. So really positive to see so many students, so many parent carers at that event um, and supporting the school. Looking ahead to next week, we have on Tuesday, our Hello Yellow Day. This is a really important day for CCA. This is on Tuesday the 10th of October, and it's an opportunity for everyone to come together to raise awareness for young people's mental health and to know that they aren't alone. In the spirit of the theme, stand out and show up, here are our plans for the day. Students have to wear their normal uniform, but they can add an item of yellow to their uniform. Not hair, but obviously accessories, and they can put on yellow ribbons, they can do different things to link in the theme of Hello Yellow Day. We will be uh, making donations as students, as parents, as carers, as teachers, and there'll be collection points for donations at the gates each morning. The whole day is run by our amazing uh, mental health and wellbeing ambassadors, and they will be wearing their yellow ties on that day. Throughout the day, there'll be a whole range of activities uh, going on, and they will start in tutor time with a tutor group competition. More to follow next week for students. Now let's move on to our shout outs. First up, Miss Bonnie. She wants to congratulate her 9Y French, her 9Y Spanish, and her 9 Spanish for such a great start to the year. The students are working hard, their books are beautifully kept, they show great participation and engagement in lessons. So well done to all three groups. Next up, Miss Middleditch. She wants to say well done to the amazing students who got 100% in their writing mastery classes this week. That was Melia Bodie, Jamie King and Taylor King. And I had the pleasure of dropping into that lesson and seeing the level of work they're doing around Macbeth in year seven. It truly was phenomenal, so well done to you. Next up, Miss McLaren, she would like to say well done to the amazing Anne Elizabeth, to Anne Asher, and they have been brilliant in PE. They're making excellent progress in badminton. They're really enjoying themselves and pushing each other to be better and better. And this week, I had the pleasure of going to the Badminton Enrichment Club on Wednesday, and that was brilliant to see those students taking extra lessons after school in badminton. Next up, for Mr. Seeger and Mr. Brady, they would like to say, well done to the Year 9 football team. We witnessed a fantastic team performance from the boys this week, resulting in a 4-1 victory over the current league champions, Harwich, with goals from Titus, Owen, and two by Ashley. It was absolutely tremendous. The attitude, the mentality of the students, um, everyone who watched was bursting with pride. The students pulled together, gave a great performance, and as a result, got a fantastic win. So well done, and we look forward to seeing how well they do in their next games. We also played Harwich at Year 7 and Year 8 Netball. The Year 7 team won 16-2, and the Year 8 team won 2-1. But what was amazing about the Year 7 netball team was that all 16 goals were scored by one student, Jessica Bright, absolutely brilliant and well done to the players who were playing around her. So what a fantastic set of results against Harwich, well done to everyone involved and next week is Manning Tree, so we'll see how we do against Manning Tree. but it's been a brilliant start of the year uh, for the year for our sports teams. Next we've got Year 7 Head of Year shout outs. Firstly to Logan Oxley-Disher for being an outstanding ambassador, Jessica Hickey, 
for being ready, respectful and responsible. And then Miss Cooper, she wants to say, I know you already know how amazing you are and what a great credit you are to CCA, but well done to Hope Stebbings and Edie Eplet. They were on stage talking as part of our wellbeing hub on our Thursday open evening. They also spoke to students um, and engaged in the activities and the wellbeing hub was so well um, attended on open evening. It was great to see parents engaging, not necessarily with the staff, but with the, with the wellbeing ambassadors and the students and talking to them about all the things we do to support wellbeing at CCA. So well done to all of you. So that's it for this week. I hope you have a restful and enjoyable weekend. Look forward to seeing all students back at CCA at 8.40 on Monday morning. Thank you.